Hey guys, how's it going? It, uh, some of you guys are going to think I'm crazy. I'm going to tear this all apart and probably destroy it. Hope I can make it work. This is the saw I've chosen that I'm going to try to attempt to build a reed fed nitro burning. Just cool, fun little, little like get together saw, goof off saw, whatever. It, uh, so I figure I'll do an unboxing of it. And I'll probably start tearing it apart. Start figuring out my plan of attack. I'm not going to throw a wheel on it right away. I got to do all sorts of bad things to it first. And uh, I don't know if I might have to cut the base before I weld the reed block onto the cylinder. I'm not totally sure on that yet. But uh, I'll do all that scrunch bar and chain stuff right here. new saw got ideas and want to try them out just seem to make more sense to start with a fresh canvas then, uh, dinking with saw uh, one of the other ones I've already ported that are running like a top. I think this is going to be a pretty fun, cool project if I can make it work. Not quite sure of all the details on how I'm going to do it. I was going to try a 372 carb or a 660 carb. I ain't quite made up my mind 100% yet. I think I even got an 070 carb right here float around somewhere. I'm probably going to put a pipe on it. I got that one that I was playing around with on that one 590. Uh, acted a little small on that, so I'd probably be just about right for this. But I really wanted the can to be a little, a little bigger, around in diameter. So I don't know. I might get on eBay or something and find a dirt bike pipe or something, make it fit. Pipes least of my worries right now. I'd rather get the reed block fitted and carburetor issues solved. Why that's so hard on your hands when they snap like that. Why they should fold them back like that when they put them in the box? They always take them under. cutting I'm going to have to do to 
make all that fit. I still haven't totally made my mind up on what nitro I'm going to run it on. It's going to be nitro propane or nitro methane. I haven't, I haven't figured out what. If I do nitro propane, it'll probably be a blend of 110 and that nitro additive. These are such good little saws. Almost gonna feel bad what I'm gonna do to it, but in the end I think it'll make something cool. If not, it'll look cool when it blows apart. But I chose one of these for one, they're one of my favorite platforms, two, they're cheap. I mean, you can get this saw brand new. I think it's like 370 bucks with an 18 inch bar. And uh, I think you can get them even cheaper than that if you don't want a bar. And I think they got like dealer days. And I'm waiting for the day for these to pop all over uh, marketplace, kind of like them 4910 or the 490s were. The 490s used to be able to find all over on marketplace. There were like store returns, people would buy them and then just do their job with them and then bring them back to the store and get their money back. And I don't know how the people were getting them. They were buying big boxes of them and then posting them on marketplace I don't see very many of these up, up for sale on marketplace or the 501s but, uh, I think this is the first video I've ever put out of me actually tearing something apart it, uh, but a lot of this ain't gonna matter in this this song. I'm gonna have to do such bad things to it. You guys are probably gonna hate me when I start cutting on the cylinder. Guess I'll be getting some aluminum welding practice in. I'm not too terribly good at it, but I do got a TIG welder. It's a Eastwood uh Eastwood. Take 200, so it should be more than capable of doing the job, I would think. I'm not even sure what numbers I'm going to run, running them. Going reads, I'll probably run a little bit more exotic numbers than what I normally do. I'll have to cut all the intake timing out, probably have to cut some holes in the piston. Which we'll cross that bridge uh, when we get there. When I'm out of out of the bolts, I need to get back to the hardware store so I can make them decomp plugs like I was doing. I won't need any of that. 
that stuff out of there. Not quite sure how I'm going to do the throttle linkage yet either. I've never even, I don't even think I've ever had the throttle linkage apart on one of these to even know what they're they're made of in there. But I imagine I'll have to build some sort of rod. Probably out of something, bicycle spoke or something. I'll figure it out. I don't even know if I'm going to run a choke. I just use the squirt bottle method on, on this particular. I've never, you guys just watched me take this out of the box. I think Echo Test runs these from the factory. Pretty sure they do. Sticky, but there it's tore down. Let me grab that like take a gander. Now, this is a reed block that I bought off eBay. bought this one too but this is way too small I don't I don't want to dink with that that's that's way too small of a one but this one's got four little little reeds I'll have to do some cleanup and port work in here really wish this piece was aluminum I can't control that but I'm gonna cut this horn off and then put this on here and attempt to weld that baby baby on there. I think it's gonna, gonna work out good. And then I'm gonna cut all this this off. And what's what's cool about this is where these threaded holes are, it's the same distance. Oh well, it's the same distance. as like a 660 carb or 372 carb so I can put a much much bigger carb on there what I'm going to do is I'll either build a whole new piece that's thicker out of aluminum to bolt the carb to or I might just use this one and just cut this off and then machine out this center to the size of the butterfly and then when the reeds are in there I'll probably just goop goop this. I'll probably have to tap these outer holes and drill these out just a little bit bigger to I don't know, I ain't gonna be able to do that either. Because that carb won't bolt up flush to it then. But if I goop it just on two outer bolts, I'm sure I'm sure there's more than enough surface area there to seal that. But that that's my my plan. I will probably have to cut my base 
and get my squish set first. I don't with that welded on there. I don't know if I'll have room with that swinging around in the lathe or not to, to cut the base. I don't want to end up in a situation like that. So I'll probably cut the base, and get my squish figured out, and then cut this horn off. Probably that everything I can think of to get that out of my way, and then attach that to it. And I guess if I don't trust my welds. I'll probably smear JB weld all the way around them too just to ensure I don't end up with an air leak. But I'm going to have to cut the port down and up. And I'll probably have to cut some timing out of the piston skirt and put some holes in the piston. And what I'm hoping for is to be able to stuff more of a charge in that crankcase more than I can normally with a piston ported one and then when these reeds shut that seals off any blowback back to the carburetor which should be able to allow me to stuff more pressure up my transfers and hopefully get more power that's the plan um, I'm gonna stop this video here because I'm gonna go give me something to eat and then I'm gonna come back degrease this thing and uh, get it set up to cut the base so you guys have a good one i hope you enjoyed that little little tear down and me babbling on here that's kind of like the first time i've ever tore anything down on video let me know what you guys are thinking and you guys have a good one